Hey guys, and welcome to Lexus World. Today we're going to talk about pH range in the world of horticulture. What is pH? pH is a measurement from 0 to 14 showing whether a solution is acidic or basic. The closer the number is to 0, the more acidic it is, and the closer it is to 14, the more basic it is. That's grade 5 science stuff. Now let's look at how pH applies to soil and hydroponics for all you medical growers out there. pH can measure the acidity of growing mediums, like soil or water. The pH level of a growing medium plays a huge role in whether certain plants can grow in it or not. Here's a map showing the pH of soil all over the world. Red is more acidic and blue is more basic. This map is just fascinating when you think about the actual forest patterns in the world and how they compare to this map, so be sure to come back and look at it again. Anyway, there's ideal ranges of pH for growing cannabis. A lot of growers don't know the correct ranges. Also, there's a lot of confusion that comes out of the fact that soil and water-based systems have different ideal ranges. This chart shows excellent ranges for both hydroponics and soil. As you can see, the best pH range for hydroponics is 5.5 to 6.1. The best pH range for soil growing is 6.3 to 6.8. Growing medium pH level plays a major role in how well your plant can absorb nutrients and by extension how well it can grow. How important is it to be in the right pH range? It's super important. It's gardening 101. As you guys saw during my pH meter episode, it's one of the only variables about your grow room that you must really stay on top of. I've seen plants go from extremely sick to extremely healthy and vice versa just based on pH changes. It's my personal opinion that pH shouldn't constantly be getting adjusted so that it stays at exactly 5.8 or exactly 6.5. As you can see on the nutrient chart again, small movement during the course of the day can actually be useful to uptake nutrients that the plant is low on. When your plant is deficient in a certain nutrient, but you're pretty sure that you've been adding enough of that nutrient, the pH level is probably the culprit, so check that next. And that's it guys, now you know the ideal pH range for hydroponics and soil. That's uh, the show for the day, hope you liked it, if you did, be sure to hit the subscribe button up top, and that like button below. We'll catch you next time on Lexus World.